Well, houndsmen were chasing a cougar at Riverside State Park today, which had a close encounter with a local bicyclist just a few weeks ago. Crews are putting a collar on that cougar so they can track down and study its behavior around people. Peter Choi explains why this study matters for your safety. Four hounds and crews were chasing down a cougar hey, hey, Rambo, hey. at Riverside State Park on Tuesday. Please. Bart George with Kalispell Natural Resources is patiently watching the cat climb up on the tree. So take a look at this behind me. So the, the, the cougar is right up in the tree right now, and he, but he's way too high up there. So we're waiting for him to come down and move to the lower tree for his safety. <laughs> George says the cougar study started three years ago because of many serious cougar attacks in the past. Um, so we're trying to find a way to help cougars and people coexist and use this park safely. So what they're doing right now is they're changing the battery on this collar and also checking his health, make sure he's okay. This is how the study works. The team puts a collar on the cougar. The cougar will listen to human voices and dogs through a speaker. Then we'll study the cougar behavior for weeks. What we're trying to do is um, we want them to have an, a negative association with human voices. Mm -hmm. So when they hear people, they're looking to uh, get out of the way, get to cover, stay away from people. We removed a, a lot of cougars, and, and, and that's a lot in the Tri-County area, including Spokane and Lincoln counties. Tony Leonetti with Fish and Wildlife says the problem project has helped the department already. We've been able to use this project as a tool, to a non-lethal tool, to really help um, with the response to, to these incidents and show, show to the residents and people that, um, you know, cats can, can live amongst, amongst us. The Kalispell Natural Resources says it plans to complete the project by next March. We want to publish this information and get it out so that state managers have it available and um, hopefully utilize that. Reporting from Riverside State Park, Peter Choi, 4 News Now.